guys welcome back to the channel and some good news today let me know what you guys think in the comment section below as well about this and also I'm going to leave a link to my Instagram and stuff like that my West Brom Instagram in the description so make sure you go and follow me uh, I will follow you back but yeah if you haven't heard West Brom close to a green f well they pretty much confirmed it we're in my opinion, I think he's already signed, but I think you'll see Bart Kyle Bartley in a West Brom shirt, holding the West Brom shirt tomorrow. Um, the fee is believed to be around four million pound, which I think is a really good price, to be honest. Um, he's twenty seven years old, so he's still got a few years left in him. Um, he's a great replacement for Johnny Evans, in my opinion. Um, he's absolutely massive. He's, he's like six foot five. So he's going to be really good at set pieces and stuff like that. I know that he did actually score six goals last season on 45 games, which is pretty good for a defender in my opinion. Um, like I said, most of his goals obviously coming from set pieces for Leeds. I know Leeds fans absolutely loved him and a lot of them are really disappointed that he's signing for us because they would have loved him back at their club. If there is actually any Leeds fans watching... Um, what do you actually think of Barkley? Because I've watched him a few times and he does actually seem like a really good defender. But yeah, um, £4 million, pound, he's 27 years old. I find it a bit odd that Swansea actually want to sell him to us. Because they're going to be going for promotion. We're going to be going for promotion. And they're selling um, you know, one of their better players to us. But I'm not going to complain. I know that he has um, Jamaican roots, so... That would probably help massively because of Darren Moore being Jamaican. Perhaps he wants to bring a few Jamaican players to the club. Who knows? I don't really care as long as, you know, they perform and they're decent players, which I think Kyle Bartley is. Um, uh, before he went to Leeds, he was actually on loan at Birmingham City where he played 13 games. Um, I'm not too sure how he did there, to be honest, because... I don't really follow Birmingham with them being rivals and stuff like that. But yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure tomorrow morning you'll see him holding up a West Brom shirt. You'll see interviews of him and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm really excited to see what he has to bring to the team. Um, you know, it's a positive move in my opinion. We've also already signing Sam Johnston. He's probably one of the best keepers in the league last season. We're signing Kyle Bartley now. He's probably one of the most underrated centre-backs last season. He was brilliant. And a couple of rumours, what I've heard as well, is um, I, think it, I think it's Vincent... No, not Vincent. Um, I can't even remember his name. Another centre-back from Leeds for £10 million. Um, I think it's Pontus Janssen or something like that. He's uh, quite a good defender as well. He'd be another good replacement for, like... Um, you know, where we've lost a few defenders this season and I'm pretty sure that we're going to be losing Dawson as well. So we'll have two good centre-backs in Carl Bartley and that um, Johansson, whatever his name is. I'm sorry, guys, if I forgot his name, but I just I know I watched him a few times last season and he was quite good. Um, another player we've been linked with is Roland Aarons from Newcastle. Um, Newcastle have actually just signed Kennedy on loan from Chelsea. So they're willing to listen to offers for Roland Aarons. Whether that'll be a loan deal or a permanent deal. I'm pretty sure West Brom would be interested in him. With the likes of you know, Nasser Chadley and James McLean potentially going out the door. I'm pretty sure James McLean will and I'm pretty sure Chadley will. Uh, but I think James McLean's very uh, close to joining Stoke. So that would be a sensible move. Again, another player with Jamaican roots is that Roland Aaron, So it would kind of make sense. Well, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you soon for another Transfer Daily.